Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex has so much to offer, and we're seeing folks move from across the country every day. Today, we're going to explore the iconic Drover Hotel, inspired by the pioneering spirit of the West. Then we'll sit down with a local restaurant owner and the founder of La Pulga Distillery, a new tequila brand born right here in Fort Worth. Let's get started. Shelly Bunch with Torelli Properties and welcome to the Drover Hotel. Some of my favorite things about the Drover Hotel are the incredible pool they have with the cabanas you can rent, but one of my top favorite things is the food they offer here. 97 West for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You absolutely can't go wrong, but definitely do not miss their brunch on Sunday. The bacon, you will not regret it. Thank you for joining me at the Drover Hotel. Hope you come and enjoy your stay. Also, before we head over to La Polga's Distillery, gonna enjoy myself a couple of cocktails on the patio. Hi, my name is Katie Durham with Torelli Properties and welcome to my hometown, Fort Worth, Texas. Today we're here talking to the La Pluga Tequila Distillery's visionaries and owners. So let's go inside and meet Sarah and Andrew. Hi, welcome to La Pluga's headquarters, and we're here today with Sarah and Andrew, and they are gonna tell us a little bit about their tequila they have started in Fort Worth. Direct translation is the flea in okay. Spanish, but it's really an endearing term for open air flea markets in Mexican communities south of the border and north of the border. And I've worked at a Pulga here in Fort Worth for over 10 years now. And when COVID hit, it almost got torn down. So wanted to save it. So called Sarah Castillo. We met out on property, talking about a bunch of different ways we could possibly do it. And she was like, you know what? My end game is tequila. That's that's what I want to do. And I said, that's crazy because one of the things we've talked about doing here is a Sotol distillery, which is another spirit you can do north of the border. And we drove around, found some Sotol over off of Camp Bowie and ended up drinking Sotol in the bed of my truck, daydreaming about what's coming to fruition, which is a Mexican spirits portfolio, a, a Sotol distillery on that property. Mm -hmm. Sotol, not tequila, where tequila is coming from Mexico. Okay. And then plans for a boutique hotel down the line. Awesome, very yeah. good. So tell me about the tequila characteristics and the flavor profiles of y'all's tequila. So whenever we started the project, we wanted to really go back to what tequila used to be. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to find someone that really gave a damn about what was going in here and not just making quick money. There's two lanes in the tequila market. People that are producing a lot and not really caring about what's actually going in or the ones that are like, this is the way to do it. We're not gonna cut corners and we're also not adding anything in there. What you see in here is literally crushed agave juices, water, and yeast. So we are not adding anything. So this sticker here, certified additive free, it's something special for us because it shows that we are not cutting corners. So what sets your tequila apart from all the others? Well, there's a, a lot of people doing tequilas right now. That's no secret. We want to do this to really showcase the traditional way of doing tequila. We're not just doing this for instant fame or to ramp this company up and sell it. We do it because we have a love for the spirit. And a lot of that comes from our heritage. We're both of Hispanic descent. When we're in Mexico, we feel at home. Mm -hmm. So doing this Mexican spirit is really a way for us to get back to our Mexican roots. Well, let's try this tequila now. So what are we trying right here? This is our Blanco, and we're, we're very proud of this Blanco. So our distillery is in the Highlands, and so that usually you get a more citrus forward taste from Highlands tequilas. In the valley, you get more of a mineral or kind of earthy taste. It's double distilled in stainless steel casks, and you pull cooked agave, floral notes, honey notes, and anise from this. So okay. really All good. Right. Excited. Thank you so much for tuning in to American Dream TV. I'm your host, Denise Johnson. We've had such a great day experiencing what Fort Worth has to offer. And we wish Sarah and Andrew the best of luck in their new adventures. We also just hope that you always remember to love where you are. Love where you are. Cheers. Salud. Salud.